Mushy Mon Mon Chocolates. The rarest, fanciest, most delicious chocolates in the world. They are not for kids. <sighs> How can I word this nicely? Oh, the sophistication of these chocolates would be wasted on your tiny, underdeveloped kid brains. <gasps> that wasn't nice at all. Forget nice. This is serious. Anyone who touches my mushy mon mons is in trouble. Big trouble. I'm talking earth shaking, dream haunting trouble. Got it? Good. It's okay. I'm sure those mushy mon mons aren't even that yummy. Delicious, gooey, chewy, scrumptious, delightful, sweet, heavenly tasting, mouth watering, rich, succulent. Would you stop already? I need the Mon Mons! It's the only thing I care about! Yes! Let's do it! Guys, no! Stop! You heard what she... I know! I just need to look at them, or I'll explode! <sighs> okay, we open the box to look at them. Look only. That's it. Agreed. Deal! Oh. Whoa, that tasted like riding a unicorn into the sunset and then eating it. Ugh. Aww. Owen, did you eat part of the box? It was a chocolate smudge on the corner. <gasps> Chef said we'd be in big, big trouble. I do not want this on my permanent record. We're going to be in timeout forever, just like Paul. Hello. I'm 94 years old. May I please come out now? Not my call, Paul. We did a bad, bad thing. Yeah, now Chef will never share his Mon Mon chocolates with us. Oh, right. We just ate him. Listen up. We need to find a chocolate shop and buy a new box right now. So, you ate someone's entire box of Mushy Mon Mon chocolates and you'd like to buy a new one. Let's make it two boxes. What? One for Chef and one for us to eat on the walk back. <laughs> Mushy Mon Mons are the rarest confection in the entire world. I have never even seen one in person. <laughs> well, who does sell them? Darling, everyone knows you can only find Mushy Mon Mons at the artisanal chocolaterie in the Norberian Alps of Ruffenberg. So I guess that's it then. Yep, we're going to Ruffenberg. <laughs> Meanwhile. Hey, Quagmire, it's me. Meet me at the Clam in 20. Well, that sounds great, Peter, but I can't right now. Ah, oh, crap, why not? Because I'm working. I'm flying a plane to Alaska. Alaska? What the hell? I never even heard of this place an hour ago. Now everybody's flying there. What did you say? Quagmire's flying to Alaska? Peter, that's the plane Mayo West is on. Oh, I get what you're driving at. If Carol can't have Mayo West, no one can. Quagmire, I want you to crash that plane. No survivors, you hear me? Peter, for God's sakes, no. T tell him to turn the plane around. Oh, hey, listen, Quagmire. Turn the plane around and bring it back here. Peter, I can't do that. The FAA would be all over my ass. Um, hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow, meow noises and everything. I love them already. Yeah, but Brian's been eyeing them pretty good. What? Yeah, and I gotta go to work now, so I hope he's not, like, hungry or nothing. This is your captain speaking. We've discovered a shoe bomb on board. We're gonna have to return to the terminal. Hello, Alaska! 
Alaska! Adam! Carol? I don't know what I was thinking. I made nine mistakes, and I was afraid that I was going to make another one. And you know what? I almost did. Adam, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, Carol, nothing would make me happier. Hey, you know, when it's your turn to say I do, you should say I do the do, and then, then we both pull out a Mountain Dew, and then, I, I, and then I do like a radical skateboard jump off the altar. Well, obviously, yeah. Good luck. Hope you like weird boobs. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bride and groom have written their own vows. Adam, from the first day I met you, I knew that we were meant to be together. I know I've said that before, a lot of times, and it's always blown up in my face. Giggity. But this time it's different. I know it's going to work. I love you, and I'll be proud to be your wife. That was lovely. Adam? Milk, butter, cat food, those new potato chips in the snack aisle, beer, deodorant, garbage bags, toothpaste. Adam, I think that's your shopping list. No, these are my vows. They're all the reasons why I'll always love you. Oh, Adam. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, Peter, I'm so happy for the both of them. Hey, I just realized, I have a sister. <laughs> ha! Stand much? Later.